Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Duckman with Trading Advantage with your morning market stir for Tuesday, September 17th. Surprise, surprise, new all-time highs. The S&P made new all-time highs yesterday. It was up 1% to start off the morning after the action over the weekend. It ended up finishing the day up half a percent. Still up 9.5 points. We finished at 1691 in the E-mini S&P, even up after that 2% rally that we saw last week. Dow futures also rallied, not quite to all-time highs just yet. Dow finished up 122, 15,431. That's after a 3% gain, 450 points in the Dow the week previous. The Nasdaq, on the other hand, was negative. The Nasdaq was down 10 points, giving up its gains, finished at 3161 after being pressured by Apple. Apple's been down four of the last five sessions after our, their post-announcement malaise. Looking at other markets, the dollar index was down 19, 81.45, pushing that 81 level. That pushed the euro up, 133.27 was a close, up 27. 133.91 was the high. We've got kind of a double top, maybe make it a triple top here at 134 to see if it can break through there. If it does, 136 is the next resistance level. Bonds unchanged, 129.26 after we've been seeing yields creep a little bit higher. Crude oil was off, down $1.62 at 106.59, and gold, had a low yesterday at 1303, closed at 1318, up $9 on the day. Keep an eye on the 1305 level, 1300 level on a closing basis, on a weekly closing basis for the trend here. So after the big up day yesterday, where do the markets stand on this Tuesday morning to start a new trading session? Well, we're off a little bit, a little tiny profit taking round here. We're down two in the E-mini S&P at 1689. We're uh, off seven points in the Dow futures, 15,424, and we're down two in the NASDAQ at 3,159. The dollar continues to move lower, down 13 at 81.33. Again, the previous low is at 81. If it pushes there, that could help out all asset classes. The euro up 26, 133.63. Bonds are up half a full point, up 16 at 130.09. That's pushed the yields down to 3.85 in the 30 year and 2.84 in the 10-year note. Crude oil's up another 46 cents at 105.73. Look to see if it can hold this support point here at 105 on a weekly basis. This is held over the last few weeks. And gold down $1 at 13.9, I'm sorry, up $1 at 13.19 as we stand right now. That 13.05 level is the halfway point from the recent highs at 14.34 to those extreme lows at 11.83. That's a midpoint support, so we'll wanna keep an eye on 1300 in the gold market. So to wrap up the current action with two hours to go before the cash stock market open, we're off after making new record highs in the E-mini S&P yesterday. We're down two points at 1689 in the E-mini S&P and down seven in the Dow futures. I will see you early Wednesday morning for the morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman from Trading Advantage here at the CME Group where it all comes back to commodities.